Hey you, do you want your Nova Beast to look like my Nova Beast? Well, I'm going to show you a quick and very easy tutorial to follow. This tutorial does require Photoshop. Um, and the shader that I am using is Warren's Fast Fur Shader. It essentially adds realistic looking fur to your avatar. Um, one of the big problems that a lot of people have when using his shader is that some avatars out of the box, such as the Nova Beast, are a nightmare to work with. And I'm going to show you that here. So on this Nova Beast, we are just going to simply delete all of these fast fur assets that have been generated. We're going to click on the body. We're going to click here to generate the blank map and we're going to click here to generate the hair maps. And the first thing you are going to notice very quickly is that the hair generates all over the goggles, all over the collar, all over the claws, the beans, and even the mouth. And you know, who wants, who wants fur, furry teeth and, and furry tongue? Nobody. Especially, you know, it just doesn't look right. So I'm going to show you guys how to essentially with an avatar that has built in meshes like this already on the model that are not separate and are connected to the body. I'm going to show you a better way than using the fur grooming uh, tool that Warren has provided. Now, this tool is a lifesaver because it does one of two things. One, it generates this map here that's essentially like a normal map but for fur. And two, it allows you to do very specific custom um, you know, trimming or hair growth. And so the first thing that you want to do is right here on the chest of the Nova Beast or any avatar you have, because it's going to be the easiest way to find, is you want to take your normal brush, and I'm just going to make it the 25 size, because this part does not matter. And we're just going to get rid of this fur here. Just like that. That's all you need to do, and you're going to hit save. And you're going to notice instantly that this little, this little opaque a bluish pink tint thing now has this little this little pea stain on it this little yellow spot and this is very important and so essentially what you want to do is you want to drag and drop this little thing into Photoshop just like that and make sure you leave it there because you're going to want these two colors you're gonna want this color here 7f 7f b3 make sure it's 1024 by 1024 and the second color here 7f 7f 00 very important to have these two colors you don't really need to worry about the first color this one here um just because the base layer is going to be blue so what you want to do is you want to go back into unity and these these maps that we created just just get rid of them you're not going to need them um and essentially click on the body and all you're going to do here is click here to generate a blank fur shape data map do not click on the generate hair maps yet drag and drop this into your photoshop and hide the original layer now on your original uh, Nova Beast, right, that has the Photoshop files, or any avatar that has Photoshop files, you essentially kind of want to color code them. And all you really need to do is, 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 by color coding them, is just change it to a color that's easy to recognize. And anything that you want to um, essentially you know be whatever now 
when you go to export this, when you go to export, don't quick export, export as, and make sure you change your width and height to 1024 by 1024. We're gonna drag and drop the Nova Beast, which is 1024 by 1024, right? And because I've done this so many times already, I'm not gonna color code. It's just easier for people to color code. Um, what you wanna do is click on this little rectangular Mar Marquez tool. And on the, the fur, fast fur body mat fur shape, what you wanna do is kinda of zoom in, right? And we don't want fur, obviously, on the, uh, on the tongue and the mouth. You know, so we're just gonna we're just gonna select that area, and we obviously make sure you hold shift. Obviously, don't want fur on the paws, so we're gonna select this area, right? And you know, sometimes you want to go a little bit over, just like how I did. We don't want fur on the metal uh, pieces of the the collar and the goggles. Um, same with the the leather of the collar and the goggles. So we're just gonna come here and, and take these pieces like so. We, we obviously do not want fur on the, uh, the claws or the, the collar itself. And you can see what I'm doing essentially is just taking this tool here while holding shift and selecting bits and pieces of areas and I think all we need to do now is these paws and the teeth teeth going so nobody wants fur on their teeth who would want fur on their teeth not me bleh all right it's pretty good I think oh, I'm gonna get that bent oh careful when you scroll up when holding shift it like goes into maximum overdrive for some reason and now this part doesn't really necessarily need to be perfect because we just want to avoid where any of the fur tones are. Make sure you hold control or yeah, control and then hit minus without pressing anything else. And this is gonna zoom you out. And you can see that we have a bunch of areas selected. What you wanna do now is click over here on the Magic Eraser tool. It's gonna ask you if, to rasterize the smart object. Just say yes and then click on it click on it a couple of times actually because um, sometimes it doesn't get rid of it all the way and now essentially you're gonna have this weird looking thing okay now what you want to do is you're gonna create a new layer just name it whatever you want layer 2 and we're going to hide this layer and we're going to select this color. Remember, this color is very important. And then, um, let me control Z a bit far back. This right here, make sure you still have that new layer. And on layer two, you're going to feel uh, in with all the areas you selected and on layer 2 you're going to change the opacity to 50% just like that so now essentially you've generated the furs normal map and the blue area is where all the fur is going to be and this yellow area is where no fur is going to be um, in case if you 
going back to rewatch how I got this back again. I just hit Control Z a couple of times, um, and then when this little line area reappeared, I hit New Layer after I selected a color and put it in. You can always click on swatches and and change, um, which would have probably been easier. But some people don't follow tutorials a hundred percent correctly. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, once you have that, you can select off and you can simply export, quick export as a, a PNG. Um, and we're just going to name it the same as the fast fur body matte fur shape. And then back inside of Unity, where we have this, right click this and hit delete. Right? And then click on where you saved your your fast fur and drag and drop now go back to your body and remember we never generated the hair maps but now click on generate the hair maps and what you can see is wow there is no fur on any of the materials including the mouth the teeth the fingies, the paws, the bottom paws, etc. And so when working with an avatar where everything is like attached like this, this is a lifesaver if you want realistic fur. Now, um, Warren has amazing tutorials linked I'll, I'll have them linked down below of how you can go through all of these settings here and customize your your hairs and stuff i personally like keeping my hair at 12 millimeters thick i think it looks the best and you can you know turn down your fur thickness i think i keep mine at like 3.5 um and and so forth so forth and you can go around and mess with it um there's like gravity and and like wind you can turn on the wind um you can add movement strength and a bunch of other stuff and so if we go into my 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 nova that i've personally sat here and tampered with and i hit the little gesture manager button and hit go into the play mode takes a second you will see that expressions customize you know sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but uh yeah you can see that the fur here is moving and uh, so forth so forth on now, I don't know what button I managed to press to break it so that I can't um, move around. And that's Unity for you. But yeah, um, this is how you get very nice looking fur. Uh, thanks for watching the tutorial. Um, I will have a link down below to Warren's shaders his videos as well as the Nova Beast um, PSD thing that I just made if anyone else wants to use this. Peace.